Have you been looking for easy ways to make money online? Welcome to eCash Society. Bitcoin talk, mining rig tutorials, and paying smartphone applications all in one location. All right, guys, so FREP. I want to keep this very, very simple because we still have to go over to my phone and check out this application and look at how you're going to set up these commands for how you can automate any application that you could possibly want to. You can automate that application. But I, I will say this at the very beginning here, guys. This is my disclaimer. Be careful whenever it comes to automation. This is something that you want to do at your own risk. Now, this is where I, I will say this very specifically. There are some people out here in the world that they are very, very busy and they do not have the time to sit at home and babysit an application. They're, they're working constantly. They cannot manage their phone farms and that is really who this video is for. Now, as far as like automating your phone farm, you do run the risk of possibly being banned because these applications, whenever you use them, they can detect other applications that are on your phone. So this is how some companies will ban you if they can tell that you have a rooted phone. And then you have, it's just, it's very different for every single application, guys. And that's why I encourage you to do your research about the application that you're using. And then you've got applications uh, like Cash Magnet that that's what they do. They automate they automate your phone so you can automate an automated application so I just I think that's a little bit funny but um, let's take a look right here at FREP this is part of how you're going to install FREP so I will leave this in the the description for you guys to download it's part of uh, installing FREP which is in the Google Play Store uh, once you get it installed on your phone then you will have to go to this website to download this for Windows and it's as simple as double clicking that and whenever you launch this it's then going to ask you it will prompt you as long as your phone is plugged up to your laptop that's one thing it will prompt you to click yes or yes or no so I mean that's uh, that's really that's really it though guys we're gonna hop over to the screen of my phone I'm gonna show you how you will set up a few basic uh, sequences for doing this with one of your applications I encourage you to test this out yourself uh, like I said because every single application is different you will have to get a feel for this application and how it works so uh, there is one last thing I, I do feel like I want to talk about here very quickly though I recently came across the video from another fellow phone farmer who brought up the fact that I was talking about uh, you know I'm the first person here on YouTube to talk about phone farming on two different internet connections and I felt like it it had maybe upset this fellow youtuber and uh, you know I just uh, I'll shoot a shoot a message out to you very quickly this information was already there it was already on the internet or else how would I have figured this out I didn't just create this I didn't create phone farming on two different internet connections people were doing this before I even I even brought it up here on my YouTube channel. So, at the end of the day, guys, uh, you know, I feel like people are trying to maybe hide this information for how you make money online. eCash Society is here to say we don't have to hide. It's just like uh, people that are mining Bitcoin right now, especially in other countries. Think about that—the ones that had to hide the fact that they were mining Bitcoin. It became an illegal thing, and then they couldn't even mine Bitcoin the places that the things like these are happening I'm here to say we shouldn't have to hide any of this information if you did the research about this stuff for yourself and you really really score kind of scoured the internet here for information about phone farming you would have found this information before I brought it to my YouTube channel so uh, but it, you know if at the end of the day if people want to blame me for covering some information that was already out here on the internet then I, I guess you're more than welcome to do that but I would encourage you to keep an open mind here man and if you would like to come and visit eCash Society, if you'd like to hop into a stream, we've had, I guess it's been like, what, five or five or six different fellow foam farmers that have joined us in stream here on eCash Society. So if you'd like to do that, you're more than welcome to. I'm sure people would like to have a face reveal. Just saying. Uh, but, yeah, I guess that's really it, guys. So we're going to hop over to my phone right now. I'll see you there. All right, guys. So you, you got to see over there on the screen of my computer, uh, how you have to set up FREP, uh, the steps that are involved for setting it up, and now we're going to take a look at the example of what an automated app would look like 
using FREP. And we're gonna go into a bit of detail here as to how you do this, how you're gonna set this up for yourself. You're going to want to get a feel uh, for this application because if you use an application that's not in my routine for making money, guys, then you're going to have to create your own database here. And that's what these are. They're databases for FREP. So, if you can see here, you have sequences of commands. And you can see that this is set to launch the app, then it waits, then it touches the screen at a specific location, then it waits for an interval, then it touches the screen once again at a specific location, and then it does that back to back to back. So one of the big things that you're gonna have to pay attention to here is having this set up to where it does it a multitude of a multitude of times over and over and over again. So if you notice here, you have your replay repeat settings, and that is where you're going to set it up to where you can do this over and over and over again so it will go in a loop. But there's two ways that you can use this application, guys, and this is why I'm very, very happy to bring this info to you. One, you can uh, record what you're doing on your phone, or two, you can set this up manually. I have noticed that 99% of the time you are going to have to do this manually. This is why I'm showing you the manual way to do it versus the opposite way because it's prone to not work unless you set this up manually. So if you notice here, you have create a sequence and that is how you can start one from scratch. But we won't go to that. We wanna come back here to edit sequence and I'm going to press control here. And you can see this is where you're going to add your selection of what you want uh, your phone to do. So you've got your loop section. This is a big one here, launch application, kill application. So, you know, that's, uh, there's really, there's not much else I can show you here. For every application is different. You're going to have to mess around with, with these specific uh, sections of effort. Now it's like I said, with it being different for every single application, uh, I could show you how to do Ulato. I could show you how to do some of the perk applications if you wanted me to. We could turn that into a video series here on my, my channel. But that is something that is ultimately up to you guys. And yeah, guys, I really, I think that's really all there is to it. Once you have gotten this set up, um, it's as simple as coming to your phone. And let's come over here. And then you've got FREP. I accidentally clicked that, we don't want that. But then you would just simply hit play. Now this database that I created was for a different phone and that is one thing to mention. If you have a different model of phone, whenever you're creating these databases, the size of your phone is different. Therefore, the size of your screen is different. So this was a database that I imported into FREP. Um, but guys, very specifically here, um, this does work. <laughs> I've done it a multitude of times. If I need to, I'll go ahead and put a video up of it working. I know it works. I've created this. I've used it. Um, other phone farmers have used this database that I've created. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else I could really go into. Uh, I, I should say this. There's two different ways as far as automation goes. And we are covering both of those here on this channel. Um, I may go ahead and I, th I think I'm going to, I'm going to create a brand new database uh, to automate an app. In fact, why don't you guys let me know down below which, which one you would like to see automated here on this channel. And maybe I'll just, uh, I'll let the, uh, the database go out to the internet as a freeware kind of scenario to prove that I can do this myself. And yeah, as far as the two different ways to automate, the, the other way that you go about automating your phone farm and we're going to cover that even more on this channel and we're going to go even further in depth with this application and how you automate your phone farm. But the only other way to do it is to map, map your mouse movements. So there's different programs that you can download that will trace where your mouse has gone on the screen of your computer. And you guys know that you can remote access your phones from one location or another location. Uh, just anywhere from around the world if you wanted to you could remote access your phones but while you're remote accessing your phones if you are mapping your mouse's movements for what you do to manage your phone farm 
That is how you can automate your phone farm. So you're allowed to access your devices from another uh, program like Team Viewer and Quick Support or VNC if you have VNC set up. And guys, I know there's, there's a ton of people out there that may give me some backlash for putting this information out on the internet, but the fact is this information was already out there or else how would I have learned it? So you could, uh, I know that someone recently got upset with me for unveiling how you can phone farm on two different internet connections. They were, they seemed like they were sore about that and people think that I'm going to destroy phone farming by putting this information out there. Guys, this information was already out there. So, you know, I, I'm just expanding on this information that's already there. This is where I learned this information was from Reddit, was from other YouTube channels. So. You know, I'm just another guy. If you want to if you want to pinpoint me and put the blame on me specifically, then by all means go ahead and do that. But at the end of the day, I put out the most realistic information about this stuff, things that people are doing and they are not showing on the internet uh, very very openly and in depth. I'm trying to educate people. So, at the end of the day, guys, I guess that's really it. If you uh, if you found this video to be interesting, uh, definitely hit me up with a like and a subscribe. Also, guys, let me know down below which application you want to see me automate, and we will make it here happen here on the YouTube channel. That's right. You've been looking for easy ways to make money online. And from here, guys, you can check out some more of my content on my YouTube channel via the links on either side of me, or you can head over to my website and start making money immediately with my website and learning more ways to make money online. And, guys, as always, like, comment, and subscribe.